the pastoral woman, the village woman, the district, what they call district women, out of the big towns of Posaso, Garowe, Galkayo, these have the biggest disadvantage that they don't have health care, they don't have schooling. The, when the drought happens, nobody will know unless an NGO says, oh, people are dying here. Are the pastoral women who make the majority of the women in Somalia. So we wanted to take funding into districts one by one. So we give them awareness and forge for demanding better governance. In order for women to come to that level, PROAP was designed and created. <laughs> Now, we have seen that results. We have to do the political participation, training, support, and give them a hand to say, here we are again. We want you to move a little bit forward towards politics so you get clean water, some kind of literacy if you don't get the best school. You get some kind of mobile health care, inshallah, if you participate in politics. I got the Shakhsi Hanti, the Cameroon Hanti, the Old Marca is allowed to have a good day, and Hunti, the Marahanti, the Wakat Chile, the King had the Wahan Sutagan High. Here was Syrian and Skusutago. We started with four districts based on the funding we had from EU, and we chose men to be trained with the women, in particular religious leaders and teachers and things like that. Because they have to learn to work together. Wahwan berencer no, wahwan nak ani hadan, lakin siasa da, apa kau mana angkiran ini? Kita ibu kata sedia, ini siapa sedia lagi kita ibu kata, orang marin terlaga kita ibu kata, khilafat, kahalin ter khilafat kah? Hanya Allah badan bahasa terkang kefain ni. So this program is giving giving them the space, very comfortable space, with water, with solar lighting, with computers to participate effectively in the making of Somalia.